this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. The Force fights with me! Get on those gun turrets! Alrighty. Bring her to me. So, Public forces pull back. It is first thing is first. No I got some followers. Of course, don't show up. You are strong, child. On my thing. I'll never fall to the dark On my street pass. Is but a taste of the dark side. All right, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Uh, but first, again, let's see here. How many followers do I have in the month of October? Twenty-nine. I'm only showing twenty-seven. So we're gonna say a thank you for to Galford seventy-eight. Who followed earlier today? About an hour ago. And Bobby Boehm. Think I pronounced that right? Who followed roughly two hours ago? I am now one follower away from giving away another set of minis on Friday. And get situated. Get situated. Let's see who's on. Oh, it's just Nightbot. All right. So last time, I uh, learned that. Things happened. Okay, that was the load screen. I want to go there. There's Chili in here. Alright. Oh, where was I going? God. This is computer chair. I want to say I wanted to go this way. Uh, to the. Oh, wait, no, I just came in that way. I am in the upper city north now. Hey, thank you for the host, Miss Adventure. There's a droid. The cats are playing with a squeaky mouse. <clears throat> what is this over here? Standard door. Well, thank you for not telling me where you go. To apartments. That what? Do you, oh no. Oh, cancel that. That's not what I wanted. Oh wait, there is the map. Okay, I haven't been in those apartments yet. Damn. Go to those apartments. Why not? <laughs> of course, the cats made a fuss when I returned. No, they didn't give a shit. They, they, they could, they could have cared less. No, they could, couldn't have cared less. Uh, it's not quite feeding time, but the fact that I am now talking to somebody, uh, they're gonna wonder why I'm not talking to them. And of course, why I'm not feeding, feeding them and filling their bowl full of food. Uh, what is what is this? What's in here? Is that drug paraphernalia on the ground? <gasps> uh, yeah, I'm totally gonna steal all this. 
from this open apartment. <clears throat> well, hi, Move Sith along. Trooper. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Teresian underground? Start talking. I want answers. Please, I'm only a visitor, Taras. Trapped here by your quarantine, I know nothing about the Teresian underground or your missing Sith uniforms. What's going on here? You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform <laughs> after the last interrogation. Oh, I think it kind of is my, uh, my business, because you're being a jackass. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. Yup. Uh, defying the Sith? You mean... I don't... Whatever. Just die, please. Damn it, Karth! Let me swing my weapons at least once. Seriously. Oh, there's a Sith commander still. Thank you, human. The Sith would have killed me. Of that, I am certain. I don't know who you are, but it is clear you are no friend of the Sith. Yeah, I don't like them. Oh, among my people, there's a saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> like you, I hate the Sith. That is why I stole those Sith uniforms for the hidden bets. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Really? That's a saying among your people? Really? Uh, what are you talking about? In the lower city, there are some who do not bow to the conquerors. Soup gangs from the hidden vex are gathering resources to one day strike against the Sith oppressors. If you wish to strike another blow against the Sith, you would be wise to join the lower city and speak with Yadon Thek. Leader of the Hidden Becks. I always wonder what Hidden Becks mean. <laughs> yes, the Universal Translator. Uh... What are they planning? You would have to ask Gadon Thek to know the answer to that question. They approached me, and my only role was to obtain the Sith uniforms for them. Can you take me to Gadon? Access to the lower city is restricted. I have never actually met Gadon. My only dealings with members deal, deal, eh, with his members of the Hidden Becks. Just words all over the place. Just words flying out of my mouth. Hey, Tonsies, how are you? <coughs> what are the Hidden Becks planning? Oh, I already asked that. Oops. I'm just gonna keep asking the same question over and over again. 
preguntas. I'm just gonna keep asking, can you take me to Garen? What are they planning? <clears throat> oh, let's not say I did. Uh, can I get one of those uniforms? I don't know why I would need it, but I know I need it. Sorry, but all the uniforms I had were given to the Hidden Becks. I suppose you could take the uniforms from the bodies of the Sis soldiers in this room if you wanted. There's blood all over them. I should be going. As should I. The Sith know my face now. I must find somewhere to hide in this world. Thank you once again, human. Don't ask my name right now, dude, seriously. Yeah, why aren't you sleeping? It's like stupid o'clock at night there now, isn't it? Like I said, stupid o'clock at night. <clears throat> okay, let's run around the apartment some more. Why are all these apartments open? Seriously. With but lockers in them. Oh, I run into a twilight robbing places, don't I? Maybe. I can't remember. Talk to me, droid. Nope, not child. Droid. Yep. I don't want to break into people's houses. That doesn't seem, you know, legit. Kitty's under the blankets. <clears throat> it's because the the later crying wasn't for a bad reason. This planet coming to, huh? Yep. Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. <laughs> yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Cindy. She won't let me touch her. Cause she's being an asshole. Uh, hey guys, can we all be friends here? Let me buy you a drink. Nope. You better think twice about what you're doing. This might be more than you can handle. Uh, I don't want to pick a fight. We're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna persuade them and be a little threatening about it. Uh, come on, fellas. This is not me ain't worth the bother. That's uh, right. Uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Maybe next time, huh? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still standing here. You're still standing here. So come on, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Whatever. That was the crazy Z-Lot guy. 
The plague spreads yeah. through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Vermin and scum? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the hideous looking oh. aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! You. you've. you founded the Al? Is. I mean, are you gonna come up with some acronym for, like, Bundy after that? The Al Bundy? <laughs> Hate mongering or your ignorance? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. I mean, I would really just like to, I don't know, stab him in the face. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge can sweeping I, our can planet. I just do that? Heed my warning before it is too late. Cisco. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Hmm. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm just gonna annoy him. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. He really likes saying move along and proper authorization papers. This is a Sith base, is it not? And I don't, I don't recall, like, not being able to sheathe weapons. That just seems really weird that I'm just walking around with all my weapons out. Military base. Nope, can't go there. Can I, can I steal that fighter? I mean, that seems like a really easy way to get off this planet. Just steal a fighter. I can walk right up to them. Do, 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 do. It's like I'm running with scissors. Just run right into every citizen! <laughs> Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. If uh, if you remember originally just running around with all your weapons out, just flailing some blades around. Are they all incomplete? Yeah, they are. Customer, come in, come in. Janice Nall at your service. Welcome to my droid and droid supply shop. Always good to see a new face. Customers are hard to come by. A lot of the Tara citizens won't even come in here. They refuse to shop at a store owned by a toilet. Yeah, I mean, you're on a city occupied by the Sith who are looking for you as a survivor and the Jedi but you're just gonna walk around with guns a blazing uh, what do they have against Twilight? Kipuna. Bona they don't na like kichu. aliens much Kim here in the upper terrace Radwana. they tolerate us Twi'leks but they'd rather see us as dancers in the cantina than successful business owners 
You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Ah, uh, you'll see a few aliens around, but, but most of the non-humans stick to the lower city. I've learned not to dwell on it, though. I try to stay focused on running my store. Mula, my selection is a bit limited right now. The Sith confiscated all my assault droids. But I've got a utility mule droid you might find interesting. <laughs> yeah, hidden in plain sight. Uh, you two like droids. What don't they do? They're great at making vehicle repairs, for starters, pretty handy to have to fight. Small but tough, with a surprising amount of firepower. And there's no better code breaker or security system splicer around, not that I'd ever condone you doing anything illegal, of course. Uh... Going back to what she said about they'd rather see Twi'leks as dancers. Is it just me, or does every like space opera game have the females with tentacles on their head as the default eye candy in every bar ever? <laughs> Oh, let me see what you got first. Yeah, let me see your droids. Two droids left. I built a T three H eight hundred credits at a top of the line. All the options, but it's not for sale. How oh, dare you? Yeah, it's not for sale. Oh, you but I want the T three M four. Is the best utility droid. Ever built a top notch codebreaker, expert security, programming, and droid repair skills. He's even got the firepower to be handy in battle. I want that one. This little guy is the absolute top of line, but he's not for sale. He's a custom job. I'm holding for a special buyer. Hmm. It's a bit limited because of the quarantine, but if you need anything to do with the droids or computers, this is still the place to shop. Bula Mule Raji Kun, Chuni Yuni Gigi Aldwana, Kava Volpa Mule Kumana. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of green. It reminds me too much of Kermit the Frog. You know what? Let me just buy your damn droid. Can I can I buy the droid? Hachu a punky, jishawa a nibun ka sha chona si chua pyongbo joni mina mamba to mule ra haku gri kat kota para bola. Oh, I can't buy the freaking droid now. Mother. Run the ichawa tongbola joni ku. You ma wama nibo lora waisha waga shi chi. Yeah, the tentacle thing, I don't understand. I just. I really don't get it. Oh, yeah, you, you sound like you're fully functional. I'll come back and get that top of the line droid. Um, let me put on the Sith uniform real quick. Boop. Oh, I've only got one. That's right, maybe I can get through. Nope! Nope! Yes? The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. <laughs> I don't need your stinking papers. Now I gotta take that shit off, cause... Nah. Actually, 
Yeah, two plus eight, no. Look, I just walked into a gang war. Kara dumpa kunpa yeya moka pata. Panther fodder. Volcars are strongest. King Kuno ba muli rachi kun. Tom na bun shan yun yang. Kaba vol pa muli kamana. A lot of words. Yun patisa. We'll teach you who's strongest. Chalora kun. Sucker shot you right in the gut. <laughs> oh. Kipona Kava strangers by Yia Moka Pata Gioka Kutumpa Kulpa. They are not a very to the point race, are they? Kill, so yes, loot. Loot all these bodies first. <laughs> are you are you talking about the tentacles, Tansi, or the not very to the point race? Wow, these look... These kind of look like where I live. Try out to feed you. You don't care. I know. Can you guys hear her? What? She's being super needy right now. They were they outside a door? No. They were just standing there. Oh, you are open. <laughs> yes, the meow. And I'm not paying attention to her, and she hates it so much. But more to the point, her food bowl is empty. As a matter of fact, her food bowl is not where her food bowl is supposed to be. It's in the sink right now, soaking. Because it's dirty. I already got that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the black Volkers. Karth, yep. <laughs> why you not let me hit anybody? Seriously. She'll get over it. 
she could really stand to lose five more pounds. Really, there's a security droid? This sentry droid has fallen into disrepair and does not seem to be functioning properly. Uh, yeah, let's repair it. How many parts do I have? I have... <laughs> I have one part, so I can't do that, and I can't do that, and I can't do that, and I can't do that. I am now leaving it alone. So I activated it, but it's a big old giant piece of poo. <laughs> it's just it just floats there and does nothing. Ah, oh, such a worthless droid. Ooh, there's the footlocker. Give me cool things, I gotta scratch my ear. No. No. Mm -mm. Uh, I should probably heal myself a little bit. Let's what? go ahead and heal Karth a little bit. Sure. Sixty-five percent fur. Yeah, ragdolls are mostly fur. From what I've read about them, they're not a they're not a big breed. Um, but they're super cute. Now my cats are um, they're supposed to be like their body build says they should be like ten to twelve pounds uh, at any given time. Uh, right now, I think Bobby is 15, and that is with a 5-pound weight loss over the last year. So, I had 20-pound cats with 10-pound frames. She was a chunky little little shit. Uh, and her sister Cindy uh, peaked out at, a, at about 17 pounds. So they were both... Grossly overweight. I don't want to go into the Vulcar base. Just yet, I don't think. Wait, I didn't check the Twilight, did I? Hey, two med packs I use. And mine are not mostly fur because they're they're the American short hairs. They're mostly dumb and snuggly. It you know, it could just be the version of the breed you have in Europe, because if you buy them here, they're very they're not they're not big. Uh, I've seen a few here and they're not very big. They're very small cats. Hi there. Not too many people come in here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fancy surroundings of the upper city cantina. But nobody up there carries the kinds of Pazak cards I sell. Are you interested in purchasing some individual cards to bolster your Pazak deck? 
I, I never, never learned to play this game <laughs> inside this game. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how's that? You know, high stakes gambling. Each player brings their own deck to the Pazak match. And the better your card, the better your chances of winning. It's, it's Magic the Gathering or Pokemon. Uh, my name is Raya. Everybody knows I'm the man to see if you want to add some cards to your deck. My prices are quite reasonable. So what do you say? Are you interested in buying some of the Pazak cards to augment your own deck? <clears throat> I don't have my own deck. You don't? Well, not my point in you looking at my inventory then. My inventory cards aren't much good without the basic deck. That was... Is yours a male? If you're interested in Pazza, 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 are you body shaming as a saying she has a big old butt? It's not cool. Poor kitty. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelroot. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Mm, why were you banned? A simple misunderstanding. And you cannot Some lie? of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. That's no justice. My lucky Bazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the upper cantina. Since then I've been desperate to find a match. Uh, I don't have a deck. You don't have a deck? Well, we can't play unless you have your own deck. Maybe you should go talk to Garuk in the upper cantina. He's looking to retire from the game so he might sell you his I deck. Enjoy your dinner? A free lesson for you. Just come I will back probably and speak call it in about 40 deck. minutes. Uh, because after about 6.15ish, uh, 6.30ish, the cats are having no more of this not getting fed garbage. Uh, so they will be super cranky. And I gotta get myself fed and taken care of so I can watch your stream. Go away. Oh, you can use the shout-out command on here, too. Just an FYI. Kakinja Three. Talk to you. No way. But I don't wanna. I wanna talk. One. Two. <laughs> it's 
smart. I'll have to fight him later. <laughs> Oh, the Nightbot stuff doesn't go through to the, uh, the, the chat thingy bobber on the stream. Hmm. That's okay. Oh, there should be an overlay somewhere. Maybe? I don't know. Now I'm looking for it. Can't find it. I'll have to find that. Cause I turned on turned on the points thing through uh, Streamlabs and installed it on my t oh. Do I have to install the Twitch app for that to work? Maybe. I will put to that later. I don't want to talk to you. You're just a standard citizen. Uh, Alright, you have an actual name. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. <laughs> I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? Look at them waggle their head tails. Mmm, yeah! Uh, who are you? My name's Holden. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang. You work for Davik? I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier <coughs> guns. You know, you're, you're, you're kind of just spouting out what you do around here. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Oh, really? Uh, do you think Davik could, I don't know, maybe get me off this planet? Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. Um, poor Davik. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. Mucho shakapaka, ye ki kon no ba muladra ki chichon. They both say the same thing. Mucho shakapaka, ye ki kon no ba muladra ki chichon. It is a wookie. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Bantha poodoo. Little girl should not be in bar. This no place for little girl. If little girl's smart, she run away home now. Who you calling little girl, tuba face? Little girl needs listening manners. Just a sec, boys. Solbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, <laughs> so get over here. We don't want trouble with Wookie. Our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Kilbasa! Little girl lucky she has big friend. You, you just said sausage.
Uh, I want to talk to the Twilight. There you go. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sorta of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Uh, let's see here, what do I need? How does a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? What? Why do you just assume she's a street urchin? Why do you assume they're best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. It ain't easy so to be a noticed. blue. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. Unless you're a sorry. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Ooh, tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. How is this doing? Okay. All right, so points are working. Why isn't there an overlay? Uh, why, why is there no overlay? It's gonna drive me nuts. It's gonna drive me nuts. Hey, uh, Tonks, you don't see an overlay on my stream anywhere, do you? I might not see it because I am the streamer. If you're if you're on like a desktop or laptop, just kind of mouse around and see if you can see an overlay. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Bulkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Thek. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Oh yeah, it doesn't work on mobile devices. You still earn points, you just don't see the overlay. That must be game noise I'm hearing. <laughs> uh... When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the street. It's like they've gone insane. Uh, tell me about... Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure callow has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Why can I 
not see the overlay they are talking about. Mm, gonna have to play with that. Uh, I learned about Tabak, I learned about the lower gangs. I guess I'll be going now. Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Alright, who else is there to talk to? Get out of my way, Karth! Who's this dude? What do you want, human? You come to stare like others here in Taurus? You think we are strange? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Okay, you're not here to offend me. What do you want then? Okay, it's game sounds I'm hearing because it sounds an awful lot like somebody's making lots of noise upstairs. <laughs> yeah, insomnia is not good. Uh, I'm just gonna stare at the freak. No, aha. Uh -huh. Questions? What kind of questions? Uh, what planet are you from? You couldn't say it. You don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name, and four ears hear the true sound. The but your kind would call our home Sorgus. Small world, far off the Purimian trade route. I'm not gonna pronounce any of these names correctly. Um, what kind of creature are you? In your one voice tongue, you would call my kind Paradir. Nope. <laughs> oh, damn. That's not good. That is not good at all. I don't, man. I want to say the only time I, I've ever had insomnia was when I was in basic training, and that, that was just because it was hard to get to sleep and it was a different surrounding. <sighs> Can you tell me about your home world? Talking about our home only makes us this quarantine more difficult to bear. Forgive us, human, but we do not wish to be reminded of it. I noticed your other head doesn't say much. Nothing that you would hear, at least. Oh, he's he's silent farting, isn't he? Your other head is silent farting. Mm. What do you know about Terrace? Nothing. We only we only stopping here to get supplies when this is attack. They imposed a quarantine on all ships that landed on Terrace. No help, weird alien. Yeah, they, uh... There are studies that say that insomnia can actually be, um, fatal. Because there are... Your, your, your body goes through hormonal changes when you sleep, and if it doesn't go through those changes, I guess some weird fucked up shit can happen. Ooh, this is the this is the fight club. 
I think I'll do a couple fights in the fight club and then maybe maybe call it for the evening. Maybe. What? Why are you bothering me? Can't you see I'm auditioning a dancer? Or at least I'm trying to audition her? Not much point if she doesn't have a partner. What are you talking about? Names Bib, Serial Manager to Starlight Entertainers, the top performing troop in the sector of the galaxy. I was here scouting new talent. When the Sith attack, now I can't leave. You think the Sith would let me go so I could get back to my troop? But I guess they just don't appreciate the arts. So, since I'm stuck here, I figured I might as well continue with my auditions. I'm supposed to be auditioning Lin, but I think I'm wasting my time. Lin's got all the moves, but I need to know if she can pull them off while sharing a stage with her partner. Uh, where's her partner? She doesn't have one, that's the problem. Aren't you listening to me? Can't just don't perform solo. So I need to see if she can work with someone else before I get her up on stage. She's by herself. Uh, <laughs> maybe I can help her out. I doubt she just wants to dance with someone who wandered by. This is her one shot at the big time. And dancing with some wannabe as her partner isn't going to help her cause. On the other hand, I'm going to hire her. I'm not going to hire her unless I can see her in action with a partner. Maybe she's desperate enough to give you a chance. You have to ask her, I guess. Alright, alright. I was to use. There's no way Bib's going to hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dance with a partner. Maybe I should give up. No, I just uh, I just read an article uh, today, particularly in Japan, uh, where uh, workers are racking up like a hundred hours of overtime a week um, they're discovering that uh, lack of sleep can be fatal uh, and it's one of the one of the one of their new silent killers like heart disease so yeah insomnia can definitely wreak some havoc uh, why don't you have a partner weird woman my last part left me she was always trying to upstage me, even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. When I finally told her that, she stormed off. I guess the truth hurts. My partner before that was even worse. If I wasn't tripping over his staggering feet, I was ducking under his flailing arms. I ditched him after less than a week. It, you know... You've had two partners. And according to you, both of them were bad. But you're the only common denominator in the equation. Mm. I know you're getting angry. You're getting mad. You're getting hangry. Oh, you poor thing. You poor kitty. You poor, poor kitty. Maybe I can be your partner. I admit I'm getting desperate. I hate to this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? I've never danced in my life, but, you know, whatevs. <coughs> How hard can it be? Actually, we're going to go, what choice do you have? <laughs> well, you do have a certain look about you. 
Wanga kum kiba bu mulera kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Donk kiba nu neck. Oh, but don't get too close if you can't handle it. I don't want some clumsy oops. Join Lin by dancing beside her. Join Lin by dancing very close beside her. Very close face to face. Oh, we're just gonna go beside her. Simple. We're only looking for Shag <laughs> Join her by running around in circles while she dances. <laughs> no. Now we're gonna go close behind her. We tam boragatong mulira ashamturung. Looking good then. Okay, one more dance to go. Igrutu haga jijiwa Watajuma wana hu wama hulhu na tek. We team and bone rank thong. Okay, one more dance to go. Ra it looks happy. Um so you don't screw up. I think you got it. Follow me and please just keep it simple. Watuyama kama wuna henak neck. Uh, beside her, very close and face to face. Ruin her audition by taking a dive. Nope. We're just gonna get her off this planet because why the hell not? Puna, Puna, Nai, Chatu, Chimba, Mulera, Tawana. Ching-ba-no-kun-nik <laughs> What a wama muliri, king kun judgment last answer, please give me a chance. Let me try one more. Jone yuturi yanchi, either bola unchi chinek, bah mulir, selima wanga kun be king. Chan shak bulara, umra chiska duchi, on chubanjiska yanki, titoke gratun kun chicha kun king. Thankfully, she wasn't the one that fell over. Ogra wala no tumba cha. Nechi chuna chubaching. Lorda Itakun. 
Kipuna, bona na kichu. Did a purpose. Kimba mule ra Don kimba no kudnok neck. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun beast king no monuat. Kakin chana guana bokon. But I didn't ruin it on purpose. I I specifically chose not to. Ni bajoni yo la wish. Dopa yuma pasen lapti mongoto. Pudu tuni rama na praka donko sercha chupa punky. Give me my partner. A good partner. Whatever. I don't see you walking around with swords all damn day. Oh no, this is not the fight club. This is the bounty hunting thing? Keep on That's me before human. You are new to the bounty office. Yeah, it's a bounty office. I thought there was a fight club. Oh, it's a different plan, isn't it? Alright, Kaba Alien languages, man, I swear. Bayamui, Kunun Kabi, Tukmin Tangjo, Kunne Muli Rabes. I hope you can read it on your phone, Tonksies. Because I stopped reading them out loud, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to say a speech about Rack Ghoul Serum. Jibedua Nani Bobo. With a thousand credits of damage. Uh, I don't have a serum. Maybe I should have taken Okay, good, because sometimes I can't keep up with what they're saying. Okay, I think I am done in here. Yeah, this is the way out. I've, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But is falling asleep. <laughs> uh, I came from that way, so let's go this way. The Hidden Beck base. Uh, you know, for being called the Hidden Becks, your base isn't very hidden. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the Hidden Beck base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? <sighs> I go wherever I want. I need his help. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Mm. Well. We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulkers or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. So easy. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. That was so easy!
<laughs> uh, why was the hidden base ever open? I don't know. I have, I have no idea. I, I don't know why they would have an open door policy. It's kind of like uh, I work in a uh, I work in an environment that claims all of their managers have an open door policy, but then when the managers are in their offices, all their doors are closed, and you still have to knock to go in, and then they act like you're disturbing them. Hold it right there. Who are you, and what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulkar Spy. Why would I say Volkar Spy? You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Volkars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous <laughs> yeah, in are. her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Mm, I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Oh, Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. <sighs> I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulkas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulkas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulkas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulkas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Uh, Bastila's a slave? Hmm. Normally, the Vulkers would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulker base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulker scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. <sighs> uh, give me a subway, I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Uh, you mean I have to drive a vehicle? Damn it. That's gonna go over well. That's uh, gonna go over about as well as misadventure driving in Borderlands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do I enter the swoop race? I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. Yeah, it's it's six thirty. It's normally their feeding time, so they're just gonna have to wait a few more minutes while I get through this conversation, and uh, call it an evening. Uh, let's see here, what's this? What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. <laughs> My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. 
They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Yeah. The, uh, when you're in the carriage in Syndicate, I am really surprised with as much as you hit things that that, ho that poor horse doesn't just keel over dead. <laughs> street lights, street lamps go flying, running into other carriages. It's poor horses, man. Um, how am I supposed to get into the base? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. Sure they are. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got a Sith uniform to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. Damn it. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Oh, uh, can you get thrown off the carriages? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Okay, let's trade. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Well, that's... If you can't get thrown off, don't be surprised that you've never gotten thrown off. <laughs> That's like saying, I'm surprised I never got circumcised. Alright, let's go get that I suggest you hurry. prototype accelerator. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Yeah. Them poor horses. Them poor, poor horses. Alright, I am gonna save it. And I am gonna call it an evening. Thank you for watching. Go and snuggle with your kitty tonksies. Uh, and go to bed, because it's like, it's 12.30 there now, isn't it? <laughs> I, I kind of I kinda got what you meant. <laughs> but as much as I, I typo shit, I, I can kind of decipher what's being said. What kitty? I'm gonna feed you. You calm your, calm your titties. Yes, go to sleep. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. I will see you next week. I'll be streaming this game Monday through Wednesday. Uh, I may do a little streaming on the weekends of it, but for the most part, it will be probably Monday through Wednesday. So I will see you next week for this game, unless you want to join me on the weekends for my D&D. &D. Uh, have a good one.